Hey guys, it's Wayne Grayson here with the uh, Gadgetron blog on TuscaloosaNews.com. I'm the uh, technology writer for the paper. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a app that I've fallen in love with over the past couple of weeks, and it's not incredibly well known as compared to some of the, some apps with similar function. Uh, but I figured uh, I can give it a little spotlight here. It's called Splash Top Remote, um, and you can find it in uh, in the App Store um, on the you know on the iPad, and I believe it works for iPhone as well. But basically what it does is it allows you to control your computer from your iPad. And there are, like I said, there are other uh, apps that do the same kind of functionality, but none that have, you know, worked as well as this one and are this cheap and has, you know, the similar functionality. Um, and I'll get into that in a second. Um, but what you'll do is you'll go ahead and it's $1.99, which is really cheap for, for an app like this. And you go in and you'll download it from the App Store. And uh, once it's downloaded, to be able to use that app, you'll have to download this application here onto your Mac OS X computer. I have an, an iMac here. Um, you can you download it onto your computer. It also works with Windows 7 and it actually works better with Windows 7. They have a full release for that. The one on Mac is actually just in beta but it works flawlessly. I haven't had any trouble with it. But you'll go ahead and you'll download that to your computer and like that that is absolutely free. There's no extra charge for this the app that sits on your computer. But you open it up and it basically provides a connection uh, that your iPad finds on your home network. So when you're on your home network, the little application you're looking at right now um, connects with your iPad. But if you're not at home, you uh, you can still connect to the computer um, by just entering its IP address. And that's a little more complicated um, with setting up VNC and whatnot. Um, and there's you know you can look for instructions on that um, elsewhere online, but you just know that you can connect to it outside of your home network. But when you're on your home network, it basically finds that application running on your computer over your home's network, and that's what we're going to do right now. We'll go ahead and touch that. Okay, so there it is. There's my desktop, perfectly fit to my iPad screen, and you'll notice when I look back up at the iMac, the application actually changes your desktop computer's screen resolution to match the iPad. Others, it doesn't change the screen. On other applications that can be as much as 25 or 30 bucks, um, it actually does not change the screen resolution for you. So what you're left with doing is panning, zo pinching to zoom in on certain parts, panning around, because what you're doing is you're looking at a screen that's larger, than, you're looking at a picture that's actually larger than your iPad screen. So you do a lot of zooming and a lot of pinching. And um, I'll come back down here to the iPad now. Um, and as you can see, and I've got all the, the control, it's basically you can you use your finger as the mouse. It's almost like using a touchscreen Mac. Um, so when I tap, the cursor actually follows my finger there. Okay, and like uh, go into iTunes here, I just touch the iTunes logo and it brings up iTunes. Um, I've got my hard drives over here. There's my time machine backups right there. I double tap that to open it up and boom, there it is. Tap the X. It can be a little hard with tapping the X and everything just because you're trying to fit your finger on top of that little space, but like, I mean, I've got bigger fingers and it, it's always worked just fine for me. Um, you can actually move around windows too. I'm going to put my finger here on this window and just drag it and see how I can move it around. And you'll notice that there's like almost no delay here, no lag whatsoever. That's what's impressive about it. So we'll go back to Safari here. Just open up a new, and you see how fast that loaded up? There, I've, and others like iTeleport and uh, even LogMe and Ignition, I've just noticed a lot of lag. Um, another really cool thing uh, that it does is whenever you're connected to your computer and your computer is showing, I'll go ahead and I'll click on this app here. Your computer will say Wayne Grayson's iPad is, is connecting this, is connect, controlling this computer. And whenever it recognizes that your iPad is controlling the computer, what it does is it turns the computer's mic on. And that allows you to hear whatever's coming out of the speakers. Which means that you can watch flash videos on your iPad from your computer, which is a pretty cool little thing to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Hulu. And you see that I can also type and everything. The iPad's keyboard comes up and allows me to type in those spaces there. And there's Hulu on my iPad. 
and we'll look for something here. Do something from the office here. Okay, so we're bringing up this clip from the office. And I will leave the room with this. You can hear it playing through my computer speakers right now. But I will leave the room with the iPad and I'll show you uh, basically what it sounds like through the iPad speakers, which is pretty good. Okay, so now we're out of the uh, computer room and out of the range of the speakers so you can actually hear what the, uh, what the sound sounds like, you know, coming through the microphone the iMac and then being pushed to the, to the iPad and it sounds pretty good. So that's Hulu actually playing on the iPad. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a roundabout way of doing it. And hopefully they'll get like a... They have the Hulu Plus app. This is free. Okay. So, I mean, uh, like I said, uh, the app has... I mean, to, to be able to handle uh, watching this video to be able to push the you know the desk the image of the desktop to this with little lag and everything to where I can watch a video with little annoyance and actually hear it uh, being able to hear it is something that the other apps have not done yet um, uh, and F Splashtop does it perfectly and it's like I said it's only a dollar ninety nine so it is a way to kind of now if you're you know on a 3G network it, it doesn't work there's a little bit of there's a little more lag and but if you're on a Wi-Fi network even one outside of your home and you're connecting to your computer and your home network through Splashtop it it works really really well so I, I can't I can't help but just you know glow of this app I I use my iMac all the time um, and now I rarely ever sit at it I'm usually just using my iPad to control the iMac and it and it works uh, it works flawlessly. Um, so if you're uh, if you're looking for something like this, to, a way to control your computer outside of the house, um, I definitely recommend it. Some uh, the only drawback that I've seen is how it kind of resizes windows on your since it's changing the screen resolution like that. Your windows that are open that you leave open on your desktop are subsequently resized and they're done so uh, kind of strangely. So you'll notice I exit out of the app and my computer goes back to its regular screen resolution. And it's nice that it does that automatically. Um, but you'll notice my windows got moved around a little bit. Um, like over here, this usually sits over here. Also, if, it, uh, if your window is open and it doesn't really fit that screen size, then it, it also resizes it like that. See? Or it'll just push it all the way over and you have to drag things back. So far, that's really the only downside that I've seen to this app. Everything else, it, it works beautifully and I really don't mind having to move some windows around for quick access of the computer um, and like I said if you start using it enough to where you're not really uh, using your computer all that much at the computer you're just using it from the iPad then it's really not that big of a deal but uh, so that's 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 pretty much it that's Splashtop remote app go check it out in the app store it's only $1.99 I promise you won't regret the purchase uh, again this is Wayne Grayson from Gadgetron and the Tuscaloosa News signing off